about this universal need of us never feeling satisfied with what we have in our lives. Always searching on the hunt, always trying to achieve, always doing, trying to gain, trying to progress, trying to grow, all right? There's nothing wrong with trying to grow, but what is it that causes disharmony within us where we don't feel okay where we are? We always feel like being okay is somewhere in the future for us. It's not here right now. So we're always making strides. And you could say part of that is being human and part of that is being a healthy human because it's our need to learn and our uh, wanting to grow and wanting to evolve and wanting to, you know, make something of ourselves. If we're always searching, if we're always hunting, if we're always striving, will there come a point where we'll be on our deathbed one day and we'll wonder, okay, what was it all for? All this doing, all this striving, and I never actually got to enjoy my life. We have feelings of regret, right? We have feelings of regret that we, uh, a lot of us regret that, some people regret that they didn't do enough. Didn't do enough. Didn't achieve all they wanted to achieve. They were lazy or unmotivated. They, they, didn't really go for their dreams or go for their goals. It's about this achievement, right? And then other people might say, well, I never actually lived my life. I spent my whole life doing, I spent my whole life working, I spent my whole life striving with my head always in the future, anxious about the future, but I was never actually present and enjoying life. I had a patient once tell me something and I'll never forget it years ago. She said, Jen, never postpone joy, never postpone joy. And I never forgot that because it was at a time in my life where I, it was like a little light bulb went off and it was like, <clears throat> you know what? I've been doing this. A lot of people have been doing this. We postpone our own happiness because we think that we need to achieve certain things before we can actually get there. Now, a lot of it is about, you know, searching for external things to make us happy internally. And we know that, and you know that if you watch some of my other videos, that it starts from the inside out, right? But, you know, think about that. <clears throat> Are you postponing enjoyment in your life? Are you postponing just being with yourself? Are you postponing your life? Are you waiting for something big to happen? Are you waiting until you graduate from school? Are you waiting until you have enough knowledge to be able to share it to the world? Are you waiting until you have enough money? Are you waiting? Or can you honestly say that you are being present and you're enjoying where you are now? You're enjoying the journey or enjoying the process instead of always feeling like you have to be somewhere else be somewhere else. And I think part of this is training on our end. You know, we're, we're trained from a young age where we can't really be successful adults until we've hit these certain milestones in our life, until we get a good paying job, until we get married and have children and, and have all that stuff, right? All that stuff. Does it make us any better or worse? That's only our view of it. That is how we label things, of course, but think about it. So if you feel like you've really been postponing your own happiness because you're waiting to achieve something in your life, you're waiting for success to fall in your lap, you're waiting for the right time to do something or money to come in or a certain somebody to come into your life, think about that. Don't wait. Do things now that make you happy, things that you're resonating with. And okay, you don't have to be the, the big wig or the CEO or the whatever, you know, the spiritual guru, but you can do little things now that can make you happy, that you resonate with. Things maybe, you know, the things that, that bring you back into that inner child state, you know, creative stuff or things that maybe you, you like to do and you lost and, you know, tap into that, tap into those things, but realize never postpone it. Never postpone it because there could be a day where you may never get the chance 
to be in that what you envision as happiness because often what we envision as our happiness or our achievement our success there that destination once we get there then once we're there we're like um hmm what's next like this isn't uh this isn't what i expected like i'm i still feel the same I still feel the same, even though I've accomplished all these goals, I've done all these things, I've moved to the top. Where do I go from here? And then we kind of feel lost and confused. So it's about shifting yourself in a way, expanding yourself to realize that all of these destinations or all of these achievements for yourself, sure, they're goals, they're healthy, help you grow and help you move forward as a human being but they're also a projection of your mind and the label that you're putting on it. So if you're associating happiness with something that's over there, then you're going to be left waiting and you're not enjoying your life now in the present moment. And you could be waiting and waiting and postponing for years and years and years and something could happen that could cut that off and then you never get to experience it in your life. So food for thought today. Have a great day, everyone, and I will see you on the next video. Peace.